Hey there, this is Nick, and this is my new um, Roland TD17 um, drum set, which I like many things about, but um, I'm finding that I'm not crazy about the, some of the sounds that are in there, you know, the snares, for example. There's, they have kind of a fairly metallic kind of a sound to them, a lot of them, and uh, um, so I wasn't crazy about some of the sounds, um, but the great thing about the um, TD-17 module is that you can uh, import your own sounds into that. Um, it's not really very well described in the manual. Um, it you know gives you the, the very basics of how to do it, but it doesn't tell you how to really use those sounds once you have them in there. So I've been kind of um, playing around with it and uh, tr you know trying to find uh, stuff online about it, which is a little hard to do. But uh, basically, sort of through trial and error and so on, I've, I think I've figured most of it out. And I thought it might be helpful for me to kind of walk you through it uh, in case you need to do the same thing. So the first stop is to get an SD card. Just a standard SDHC full-size card, one of these. Uh, this one I got at Best Buy, $15. And uh, 32 gig is the largest um, that you can uh, put in this uh, in the module. It's the largest it can handle, but that should be plenty. Uh, for drum samples, it's way more than we're going to need. So, um, next thing to do is to get some decent sounding drums. Um, and uh, you can find a lot of these online. Uh, there's a lot of free ones that are pretty decent. You can also record your own. Um, if you do that, you want to make sure you get a really nice, loud, clear recording. Um, and you want to make a recording, of, if possible, of both the drum being hit softly and being hit hard. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to load both of those sounds in there. And uh, we're going to set them up so that um, the uh, TD-17 fades between the sounds, depending on how hard you hit the drum. So it, you actually get a different tone as you hit the drum harder. So, next thing we're going to do is so we're going to go over to the computer and uh, get some sounds. Alright, so I recorded a couple of uh, hits on a snare drum that I have, um, which is called, uh, it's made by a company called Peace. And uh, I recorded a loud hit. And I also recorded a, uh, a soft hit, uh, which is this guy. Um, doesn't sound dramatically different, but the here, but the loud hit has more of a, a ring of the drum there. So uh, I have those saved as wave files, 16-bit uh, wave files, saved at 44.1 kilohertz, and so those are now in a good format to import into the TD-17. So what I need to do is um, take my SD card and pop it into my uh, SD card slot on my laptop. And uh, this one, uh, the card you need to uh, format um, on the TD-17 uh, because uh, otherwise it has to be formatted a particular way, otherwise the TD-17 won't recognize the sounds that are on there. So this card was formatted on the TD-17. Um, it's very easy to do. You just go under Setup and uh, the Setup button, and then you scroll down to um, SD card and you choose the format option. Very, very easy. Once it's set up, uh, you basically have some folders on there, uh, one of which is Import, and now you can put any um, sounds you want and then you can group them into folders, whatever you need to do. So I have a folder here for snare. I already have some sounds here that I either recorded or downloaded. And I'm going to take my two new sounds and copy them right onto there. Okay, and now take the card back out and uh, then we're ready to load the sounds into the um, TD-17. So now that we have the sounds on the SD card, we just need to put that into the TD-17. Um, the manual isn't specific about whether you can do this while it's turned on. I wouldn't risk it. I would uh, turn it off anytime you're putting the SD card in or taking it out. 
Um, it's going to be pretty much impossible to actually see where this goes because the light isn't good enough in here, but basically it goes into a little slot on the side of the TD-17. Where is it now? There we go. All right. So there's the SD card. You just push that in until it clicks into place. And then uh, let's power up the TD-17. And let me just uh, switch over to another camera so that uh, we're set up a little better for this. Okay, so the SD card is in the TD-17 now. Um, the first thing we're going to do before we start uh, importing the sounds is we're going to set up a new kit to play around with because I don't want to overwrite one of the existing kits. There are 50 uh, ready-made kits in here. There are also 50 slots for um, uh, homemade kits. And uh, you can basically duplicate an existing one into one of the empty slots, and then you can uh, you can mess around with that with that if without um, uh, you know uh, messing up the sounds on the original kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the other button over here on the right, and we are going to go down with the down arrows until we get to copy. Click the third button on the left in order to copy. And I'm going to go from 001 Acoustic, and I'm going to go around with the dial here until we get to uh, one of the empty user slots. So I've, I've got a few uh, new kits in there already. Here's one, 54 um, is a user kit that has not been used yet. So we then click on this button under Execute here. Hopefully uh, it's going to be clear enough that you can see what's going on. This is execute. Push enter to execute. There we go. So I now have a new kit, number 54. Right now it has the same name as the original kit, but I can go ahead and play around with that and do whatever I need to do. So here's what it sounds like right now. That's the snare. So we're going to replace that snare with um, the samples that uh, we just loaded onto the SD card. So what we do is we go on this right hand side here, we click on user sample. And it shows all of the samples that are already loaded in. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit so hopefully we can kind of see what's actually over here. Alrighty. So. Um, you know, I can scroll down here with the, the dial and look at all the samples that have already been loaded into the TD-17. Down at the bottom, there are a bunch of empty slots. You can have up to 100 user samples loaded in here. Right now, I, I have, uh, you know, maybe a dozen or so. Um, to load in a new one, we click the button under Menu. And we want to be on Import, which is already set, so I click under Enter here. And at this point, um, the buttons here become, you know, folder up. I can go up a level. Uh, now I'm at the root of the card. I'm, I'm seeing the import folder. If I want to go into that import folder, there I am. I want to go into snares. I s click on, under select for that. Here are all the snares that I have in that snare folder. So somewhere down here, we have piece snare loud and piece snare soft. And I'm going to import both of those. So first of all, I'll do the loud one. Select. Uh, make sure that it's pointing at an empty slot. Um, this is uh, already set to go, slot uh, user 22. I'm going to hit execute. Am I sure? Yes, I am. Enter. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the menu, import again. This time we're going to do piece snare soft. Select, move the dial until I'm on an empty slot, and then execute, yes I'm sure, enter. Okay, so now um, both of those uh, samples are imported onto the, into the internal memory on the TD-17. I don't even need to have that card plugged in there anymore. Um, I could take that out and those sounds are actually loaded into the, the memory of the TD-17 itself. So what we want to do now is assign those sounds to the snare drum for this kit that we set up. 
And one way to do that is by going back into that user sample, clicking the user sample button on the on the um, right hand side of this TD17. And you'll see one of the options there is assign. And I can do that, I can pick a, a, a sound and then assign it to either a main or sub sound for whatever instrument I have selected. And you can select a, a, a an instrument, a, a pad to assign it to just by tapping, you know, hitting one of the pads. So as I kind of click each one, it moves around there. So right now I'm assigning to the snare. Um, and we can see that right now it has a main sound of mahogany snare and the sub sound is off. Um, that's one way you can do this. There's another way to do it. And the other way is um, using the assign button. You can see it there. And this is the way that I prefer to do it because it gives you more parameters once you get in there. So I'm going to click Assign. And if I go back over here so that we can see the screen. Oops, excuse me. I have a very wobbly tripod. I apologize for that. Okay, let's get back in there. All right. So I'm now assigning sounds to the snare pad. Um, and by default, you're on the main sound. You can click this button for sub, and then you're editing the sub sound. And uh, those are two layers of the sound. You can kind of use that button to toggle back and forth between the main sound and the sub sound. And um, the way that this works is you set it up so that one of the sounds is there all the way through, starting from very soft. The other sound you can have fade in as you um, hit the snare louder. And um, it's a little uh, sort of counterintuitive. You might think that the, the main sound is the one that you would want to have when you hit the drum hard. That would make sense. That's not the way that you want to set it up, though, because um, the main sound is the one that's going to be audible all the time, regardless of how hard you hit the snare. So even when you hit it very softly, you're going to hear that main sound. So you want that to be the soft sound. And then the sub sound is going to start to become audible as you hit the snare harder. So that should be uh, the, the louder sound um, that you want to come through as you hit the, the snare more powerfully. So we're going to hit this, we're going to select this main sound here. Um, right now we are on the snare group of sounds and the one that's selected is mahogany. Um, I can click with the up arrow to get to a different group where it says snare there. I'm not going to go through cross stick, yada, 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 crash all the way to the far right. I get to user sample and then I click down and then I have the option of going through all those user samples that are in there. So I'm going to go all the way through to the end. Basically there is piece snare soft. So this is going to be our main sound. And in fact, if I, Hit that now. Okay, so that's our that's our um, our main sound. And if I go into sub, first thing you need to do is to make sure the sub sound is turned on. You see that little box there for sub on. Right now it is unchecked, so I want to click that button below sub on to check that. Now we have um, the possibility of having a sub sound be audible. And again, you've got your groups here. If I go through here, I have my kicks, my um, toms, whatever. Here's my user samples. And just like I did with the main one, I can click down and then scroll through until I find the loud sound right there. Um, so so far, so good. We've got like the we've got the um, soft sound in for the main. We've got the loud sound in for the sub. There's one thing that we need to do though. Um, I don't know if you could tell there, but you can you can kind of just maybe hear the pad. There's a little bit of a delay when I hit that pad before the sound um, is, comes out, and uh, that's because there's just a tiny little bit of extra silence in my sample before. Um, the uh, before the actual sound starts. So I'm going to go back into the user sample menu because you can actually edit those sounds in there. So I'm going to again hit the user sample button on the right hand side of the 
um, TD17. I'm not going to zoom out just to do that, but you know where that is by now, I think. I'm back in user samples. Here's menu. And here is a just start and end. So uh, let me just back out there. I want to make sure I have the right sound selected. Let's start with the piece snare loud. Menu. Go down to adjust start and end and enter. And there, this line here is the sound wave. And at the beginning there is nothing there. If I go through the dial here, I keep going. This is really sort of super magnified. So this is all like a fraction of a second before the sound starts. Okay, so there we go. There's the, the loud sound. And I'm basically right up to where it starts. Uh, and at this point I can exit out of that. And now I want to do exactly the same thing with the soft sound. So menu, I just start end and scroll through with the soft sound. There we go. Go right up to the beginning of it and exit. So now, the moment I hit the, the pad, I've got that sound coming out of there. So that's much better, much more responsive. So I'm now going to go back into Assign and we're going to play around with the settings. We've got our two sounds where we need them, but um, right now if I go into Sub, there are some options here, Mix, Fade Point, Instrument Volume. And basically, uh, with the, the way that, as best I can tell, Mix means both sounds are there all the way through. So whether you hit it softly or loud, you've got a blend of the two sounds together. There's another option here. If I go down to where mix is there and go through, there's a switch option, which means that um, you get the main sound uh, at the, the bottom and then sort of halfway up, as you uh, hit it harder, suddenly it's going to change to the loud sound. And that's not great either. So, you know, that would be kind of an unnatural uh, thing. But so what you actually have, you have these two options, fade one, fade two. And those allow you to set the sound so that it changes from one sound to the other as you hit the drum louder. louder. Um, I found that fade two seems to sound more natural to me. Um, you have to kind of play around with that and see, you know, experiment. You might find some uses for fade one. Fade two is what I use most of the time. Um, and what I have there now is hear more of that um, the the uh, the ringiness of the the snare that comes out with a louder sound as you hit it harder. Um, so that's getting close to what we want. Fade point. You can basically set it so that with a higher number, you have to really hit that snare hard before before the fade comes. Or, if you set it lower, then that uh, louder sound, that sub sound, is going to come in. You hear that, that ringing coming in quicker. So what I've usually found is somewhere around sort of 50 to 60 or so works pretty well for me. Um, it means you've got the soft sound. And as you hit it louder, you get more of the ring. You can also set the instrument volume for the sub. And uh, so if we want more of that uh, loud sound. It's maybe a little much. But um, you can't really do that with the main sound. What you can do, if I exit out of here, is you can go cl click on the level button, also on the right hand side of the TD-17. If you click on level, then you can adjust the overall level of that snare. So if I want that, if I hit it very softly, I want to make sure that's audible, that soft one. I'll bring that up a bit. It's there, a little bit more maybe. Go up to about here. So I have to hit the, the snare just very softly in order to get that, that uh, soft sound. At this point, the, the loud one is a bit too loud, so I'm going to go back, back into Assign, 
into sub, back down to my instrument volume, and I'm going to bring that back down. So, um, you know, you can play around with the settings a little bit, but the main thing is you should be able to get... You should be, get, be able to get a, a, a range of, of dynamics there that produce, uh, like, different sounds. Um, and uh, you can repeat that for as many of the drums as you want, get a really nice sounding kit together. Um, and uh, I've been very happy with the result. I hope this is helpful for you, um, and good luck. This is a, a fantastic drum set. Uh, just needs a little bit of um, TLC to get some really good sounds in there, and then um, you're going to be very, very happy with it.